Hi, I'm Sean Clark. I'm standing in front of the Unita Medical Supply Building from the film Return of the Living Dead. Welcome to Horror's Hollow Grounds. Right now we're on Artisan Street, near 33rd in downtown Los Angeles. This is the sidewalk, well, it was the sidewalk, where the punkers were first walking against the wall with the graffiti, which is not there anymore. That building's totally been torn down, this new giant building's been put in its place, and, well, kind of a lame thing to go back and see, really, because there's nothing here that even looks like it. The sidewalks have been completely redone as well, so, there's really no set marker to show you where things were. But this was the place, Artisan Street near 33rd. Piece of uh, Return of Living Dead history that's pretty much gone. Kind of sad. <laughs> So right now we are at the furthest distance location from Return of the Living Dead. This is a 1901 Paseo del Mar in Palos Verdes, California. This was the residence of General Glover that was portrayed by actor Jonathan Terry. You might remember as the wino from Halloween 3's Season of the Witch. Anyway, it's shot, the crane shot coming down, so you kind of see an aerial of the house. You can see the tennis courts over there. Can't really see it from here, a lot of foliage and whatnot, trees and everything growing around, but uh, the gate hasn't changed at all. Looks exactly the same as it did in the film. And it's a pretty badass pad right on a cliff overlooking the ocean in a pretty upscale neighborhood that kind of surprised they're even letting me in, to be honest with you. <laughs> Right now we're at North Meyer Street in downtown Los Angeles, directly behind the Nagatoshi building. This is right next to the reservoir and the 101 freeway, which is right here. This is where Suicide and the gang are driving in the convertible in this direction. And you might notice on this side, that building right behind me with like the air conditioning looking units on top of it. That is very present in the shot. And so is downtown Los Angeles, which they want you to believe is uh, downtown Louisville, Kentucky, but that, not true, kids. Los Angeles, this is where it was shot. I mean, were there punkers in Louisville anyway? Come on, really? LA, that's where it's at. So anyway, they head in this direction and they go across the railroad tracks this way. Now this location you won't recognize at all because this was the railroad crossing and it was right here behind me. Actually, where that black truck is is where the railroad tracks were right at the corner of Santa Fe Avenue and Jesse Street. Now you're saying, this doesn't look anything like it did in the film. I mean, there's nothing here recognizable. All those water tanks and everything are gone. Well, when I was told about this, like 10 years ago when I visited this location, there was the railroad crossing sign right here. It was still in existence. And if you look at it in the photo I took, it's dead on to the one in the movie. So other than that, there are no other markers that show that this was the area. But Hey, I'm going on faith. That railroad crossing sign, it spoke to me. It spoke to me, but now it's gone. Uh, hopefully a fan nabbed it, I don't know. But another cool bit, right down the street, the end of the street is the warehouse from the TV show Face Off, where all the special effects guys are going at it, battling and making cool shit. Right down there, a little tidbit. Just a couple miles away from the railroad crossing is Moulton Avenue, where Suicide and the gang pull up in the convertible right about where that white truck is parked. They sit there and they notice the Unita Medical Supply Building that Freddie works at. Man, what a hideous, ugly place. I like it. It's a statement. But anyway, there it is here at 698 Moulton Avenue in Los Angeles, California. 
So let's go get a closer look at the Anita building. This is now a private residence and uh, it's pretty damn awesome. I mean, this is a pretty amazing building. I would totally live here. I believe right here, this was the door used as the entrance to the building. It's the only entrance you can really see from either side. So I'm gonna say that's it. I'm gonna say that's the one. Go figure. And this was used for all the exteriors of the Unita Medical Supply Building. The interiors was shot on a sound stage and we'll go see that in just a little bit. Now right over here, this is actually where the gates to the uh, Resurrection Cemetery were. Let's go take a look at that right now. You mean that cemetery? Oh, oh, oh let's uh. do that. I'm now standing in front of what was the facade of the Resurrection Cemetery. The gates behind me, this entranceway, which now goes into the UPS building, which is right across the street from the Unita building. Unita building there, UPS there. Train comes, shit happens, fuck that. Actually, you know, they talk about in the documentary that there was a train track that went through the cemetery right behind the gate. So this actually did ruin shots when they were filming. That's a true story. And now we're getting it on film. Hey, what the hell's going on? Halt! I said halt! So just off of Moulton is the alleyway where the police set up the barricade right behind me. You may notice that speed limit sign, 10 miles per hour, hasn't changed in like, whatever, 30 years, still the same speed limit on this little alley. Once they pass through the gates of Resurrection Cemetery, they enter the cemetery right here. Believe it or not, this used to be it. This used to be an olive grove. This is located in Silmar, California, just off of Roxford Street and Los Olivos, which means the olive road. Little do these neighbors know, this neighborhood was filled with trees and fake tombstones and zombies and a super hot naked Linnea Quigley boogieing down to some 45 grave. Why don't you put your clothes on? The show's over. What's the matter? Does it make you nervous? And last but not least, we're here at the studio where all the interiors were shot. This is at 801 Main Street in Burbank. This is a Burbank production facility. Abel Cine is here today. And back in this area over here, this is where they had built the sets. They built uh, two primary sets here, the interior of the crematorium uh, and the chapel, and as well as the inside of the Anita building was all shot here at this location. And right around the corner on the other side of the building is this loading dock. They used this to do some insert shots, particularly the one with the ambulance driver with the beard. He was attacked right here. They used this area for anything they could to add in little bits and pieces. I mean. Right here, just around this corner, was where uh, Miguel Nunez and Clue Gulliger were driving just before they crashed in the Unita building. And inside here, behind me, of course, all the sets were built, wardrobe department, the editing bay, the production offices, everything was here at this facility. In fact, this building was probably used more for this film than any other. And this is where our journey ends. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this episode of Horrors Hollow Grounds. I know it was a short one, because there aren't a lot of locations for this one, but uh, it's fun going back to visit one of my favorite zombie flicks. And you know what time it is now. It's time to party. Because it's party time! I'm now standing by North Meyer Street. Not by it, I'm on it. <laughs> You might know this over the no, you might know. Right now I'm standing in front of what was the facade of the Resurrection Cemetery. The fake walls and gates where a fucking car comes. Did they even get punk yet? I mean I don't even know if they've gotten that crazy rock and roll yet in Louisville. Come on now. I think they still playing with spoons back then, I don't know. And also, what is supposed to be downtown Louisville, Kentucky, which is at, I said Kentucky. I said Kentucky. It's downtown Louisville, Kentucky. They say it was here, so I believe them. I'm not gonna argue. I got no reason to. I don't get paid enough to argue. This is a fucking costume to wear life. We're said right here. Right here, man.
I can't make this location much more exciting than that, so that's all I got. But I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, this is it. I believe today it's some sort of artist loft. Uh, you know, it's all kind of artsy, crapsy, crapsy, crafty, bullshitty stuff going on in those buildings over here with a bunch of like art nerds looking at us, giving us dirty looks because we're horror nerds. Art nerds, horror nerds, whatever. You can be an arty horror nerd. I mean, it's up to you. But uh, apparently they just don't like us because they are all giving us dirty looks and they said, you can't film here, it's private property. I already said that to us once, but you know, it's a street. We can film in the street. No logging stuff. So deal with it, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Horse hog ground, bitch.